Welcome back. David and Jason Benham are Liberty University graduates and successful businessmen. Back in their youth, these twin brothers learned the merits of discipline through sports. But it was when they learned the power of sacrificing their dreams and living for Christ that they truly discovered the path for their lives. Growing up in Dallas, Texas, Jason and David Benham shared a boyhood dream. They wanted to play professional sports. We chose baseball later in life. We were three sport athletes. We played basketball, football, and baseball. We decided baseball when we were in high school would probably be the direction we should go because we wanted to play professionally. Major League Scouts couldn't wait to sign them, and the brothers were interested. Until one day, their dad called them from an unlikely place with another option. Our dad, believe it or not, was in jail. Um, he was in jail because he was praying in front of an abortion clinic, and he, they, he got thrown in jail. So it's funny because while he's in jail, he was watching the Old Time Gospel Hour, and Jerry Falwell came on and was bragging about the Liberty Baseball team in 93, went to the NCAA Regional Tournament and played Georgia Tech. So his one phone call, he called my brother and I, and he said, boys, you'll never believe this. I just found a university that is Christian, and it's competitive athletically, Division One." So Jason and I instantly, from that phone call on, all we were thinking was, we're going to Liberty. So they flew in to see us. They had known that we were eighth graders in Sports Illustrated, and they watched us play. And fortunately, we, we were playing the best team in the state at the time. The, the stands were packed with scouts, professional scouts. <laughs> so here Liberty is among them. These scouts want to talk to us. Liberty's coming up. And before they left town, they're like, we want you both full ride scholarships. Please, will you come? We're like, all right, we'll do it. <laughs> When inside, we were like, thank you, God, that was such an answer to prayer. We wanted to go to Liberty. And so these twin brothers headed to Lynchburg, Virginia, to play Division I baseball. But their time there prepared them for so much more. Liberty prepared us for all of our life, prepared us for our marriage, prepared us for our business, prepared us for child rearing, prepared us for everything. While we were at Liberty, we realized, okay, we're not just getting an education, but they're taking a genuine interest in our our dream and our desire to play professional sports. Over a period of four years at Liberty, every major league team was there watching us play, at least at one time. So to me, Liberty helped put us on the map professionally. The Benham brothers received their degrees and their calls from the big leagues, but the dream of a big league career just wasn't meant to be. We had a really good time in, in the minor leagues. My brother was holding a, a Bible study. Albert Pujols went to it. Mike Matheny, the manager of the Cardinals, was going to it. So God really helped us. What we didn't realize, though, was that our identities were getting caught up in being professional athletes. At one time, I was swinging a bat in front of thousands of people, signing autographs and having special appearances at different fundraisers to six months later, I'm pushing a broom in a bathroom and with a, you know, having to plunge toilets. This was craziness for me. Facebook wasn't around then, but I would not have updated my Facebook status that I was a janitor. I'll just put it that way. I was really... Uh, tied into my identity as a professional athlete, and the Lord allowed that to be stripped out of me as a janitor. So we discovered that no matter how much we loved the Lord, we still had to remind ourselves of who we were in Him, and that what we did was based out of who we were, and not the other way around, that what I do defines who I am. That's not good. What they did next was move two families under one roof, and began to build a real estate company, one that was based on family and their faith. We weren't trained to be businessmen, we were trained to be biblical thinkers. I've told so many people that the Old Testament is chock full of business principles. You just gotta dig to find them. But when you find them, you realize, man, God knew how to run a crazy good business. <laughs> we realized, okay, the same competitive nature and the discipline and diligence that we went after this dream of baseball, let's apply that into the field of business and real estate, and let's build this business. As Jerry Falwell always said, if it's Christian, it ought to be better. There's no reason why I should start a company if I'm not gonna make it the most excellent company that could be. For 10 years of business success and Inc. Magazine and Wall Street Journal and Ernst & Young and Business Leader Media and Franchise, I mean, you name it, they were naming us to all kinds of different lists and awards in New York City, and that could easily become an identity, but we remember back 
to what God had stripped out of us. So we said, uh-uh, we are not going to let business success define us. Our real estate company, with all of that success, HGTV took notice of us. I mean, they're home and garden television. And so a production company reached out to us in 2012. And they said, hey, are you interested in a reality show? And at first, we both looked at each other like, whatever. Nobody's interested in us doing a reality show. This is just some, there's a catch. And it turned out there was no catch. And in the spring of 2014, we started filming for HGTV. Had we have embraced this identity, this new identity as a reality television superstar or whatever we might could have been, it would have been a lot harder to let it go. But we kept beating that identity back away from us. God was faithful and of course, as you know, the show didn't quite work out. But God has been so good and now we have a brand new platform. Jason and I were born for this moment. We were born to stand strong and to help bring life to those who need it most. And we know that. But both of our wives have really continued to keep that soft side of us, saying, if you are speaking to people and if you're speaking somewhere, know that any minute you can be kneeling at the altar with these people. Don't you go going off on them. Don't you hit people over the head with the Bible. You be loving and compassionate and sincere. And having that constantly in us, that's truly our heart, even though it's a little more difficult when you're starting to take bullets. But our wives have been very valuable in helping keep us soft. Great story. David and Jason have just released a book about their incredible journey entitled Whatever the Cost. You can find it on Amazon.com or at your local bookstore.